Thank you, folks. Hey, good to see you, my friends. Dave Schwartz here. Hey, want to say hi to Nina Hopkins of Ulster Park. Good to have you in the studio today. Trudy Young, Juan Serrano. I didn't know you guys were, uh -huh, uh -huh. And newlyweds Emily and Noah from San Antonio. Good to have you guys, too. Hey, it's the weather word, F the man. What? F the man? No, I'm not trying to get fresh or nasty. Or You've heard of the F, all right? So, no? I'm talking about the F scale, the Fujita scale, the scale that rates tornado wind damage, F0, F1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to the strongest tornado. Now, this guy, Fujita, put it together, and it's got his name on it, along with one of his colleagues, Pearson. Now, it's been changed back in 2007, uh, some engineers, now Fujita died in 1998, 2007, they upgraded to an enhanced Fujita scale, which shifts the, uh, the wind spreads here just a little bit, but it's the same idea, but it's now called the EF scale, the enhanced Fujita scale, as opposed to the Fujita scale. Anyhow, it, is, it rates the damage done by tornadic winds and that infers how strong the winds were. Meets weather superstar Tetsuya Fujita. Ted Fujita, he was on staff at the University of Chicago for over 45 years. Now, he grew up in Japan. And after he got his degree and went and became a professor over there, the U.S. bombed Japan. Well, he was one of the scientists called in to look at the damage from the atomic bomb. That's damage, right? He was able to determine how far off the ground when the atomic bomb detonated and all sorts of other information based on the damage on the ground. Well, get this. He started doing research on tornado damage and hurricane damage. Not dissimilar to what the atomic bomb did. And he became a master of his trade. We saw the atomic bomb cloud. There's your thunderstorm cloud. Winds not as strong and destructive as an atomic bomb, but still strong downburst winds, straight line winds, tornadic winds can all do that kind of damage. Fujita became known as Mr. Tornado and died back in 1998. By the way, some of his research has made flying much safer. In airplanes, how they get around these downburst winds, Ted Fujita, we have a lot to thank and credit him with. Here's our map on Thursday, heavy rain offshore, Friday, thunderstorms, late in the day, Saturday and Sunday, same story, because an upper level trough sits out here and the upper level winds are parallel to the front. So there's no west to east push. We're gonna stay in the warm, humid air, patchy fog early morning, otherwise partly to mostly cloudy, warm, humid, low 80s, with the threat of some drenching downpours again beginning Saturday. That was the satellite picture for Friday. Saturday and Sunday, drenching downpours each afternoon. The heaviest precipitation the next seven days, right here. From Florida and the Gulf Coast all the way up to Maine, that's where the train of moisture is going to be from the Gulf Coast all the way up through right here in the Hudson Valley. There we have it, my friend. A nod to Dr. Ted Fujita of the University of Chicago and to all of us here at OCPostSentinel.com in addition to our viewers, too. By the way, there is Cowboy John Gaudioso. Strange, huh? What a picture. Good to have you, my friend. See you next week.